since we are going to use a very tall um, RAM modules, we are going to install it with the overhang facing the other way. So it will be like this. As you can see, there's enough clearance on the other side for your RAM modules to install, and there actually also more than enough clearance on the left side as well. But I would suggest to plug in your 8-pin power first before proceeding with installation. As you can see, uh, it will be obstructed once you're in there, and there's no space for your hand to move in. And let's proceed with installation. And now we have determined the orientation for which we will install the Jevin 2 S524. And it's time to put in the mounting bracket. And first, of course, you have to remove this plastic cover. Uh, if you notice that uh, the AMD mounting plate can actually uh, mount it in four directions, although the manual doesn't suggest uh, the fourth position with the uh, with the overhang over the north bridge but uh, I don't know why but uh, they don't provide an explanation here but uh, they would rather suggest you with the uh, suggest that position with the overhang but that uh, we are actually going to install it uh, with this uh, option right here so uh, to do that basically have the mounting plate uh, left to right like that and make uh, sure the, uh, the holes are aligned. Take your screws and screw them in place. Uh, now these screws are very tiny, like that. So it, uh, if you're clumsy like me, <laughs> you might want to take good care. You don't uh, want to lose these tiny, tiny screws. And you would also suggest using a precision screwdriver like this one. In place because a larger one uh, will be too big. So just uh, screw them one by one. And let's find that one that I dropped. This actually is a mounting guide for an AMD system. So we have an AMD test system, AMD 3. Uh, so, but if you're going to install an Intel to an Intel system, the procedure is basically the same. Okay, that's why I don't like tiny, tiny screws. There we go. Make sure it's completely secure. I'm going to just show you quickly what the Intel looks like. It's basically the same idea. You have this mounting hole here. And you, got, you install it that way and you basically adjust the, the position of this uh, lock right here in the end depending on your socket type. And to proceed, you have to put in these uh, protector guides so it doesn't scratch your motherboard. These little rubber uh, little standoffs. And now let's put it in into our motherboard. Before we can proceed with installation, make sure to first apply a thermal grease onto the CPU. And uh, Cooler Master actually provides a thermal grease inside an injection tube. And once you've done that, just simply put in your Cooler Master Gemin 2 S524 heatsink. Uh, put it in, of course, inside the mounting holes. your hand uh, holding the heatsink on the other side take the back plate here we're going to use the AMD side and just put it in place might take some effort to do so because the this back plate right here is or rather the uh, motherboard uh, clearance and the back blade uh, cutout is actually smaller than it should be. And there we go. And once you do that, you apply the screws. When securing it from the back, and uh, 
Coolmaster actually provides this adapter right here for your uh, screwdriver so you can just place your lens aside and then uh, lock it into place and use your screwdriver to secure it completely once you have your cooler master jamming 2s524 completely secured just simply need to plug it into your fan header